All right, we are on the air right now with a couple girls that I sent to Europe a, a while ago. Introduce yourselves, if you would. Um, I'm Emily Moore. I'm Melissa Wagner. And in America, you were you guys were pitchers somewhere in Pennsylvania. Where did you guys pitch at? Johnstown. Johnstown. Pit Johnstown. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. So anyhow, uh, out of the blue, we uh, looked at these girls, and there's a couple teams in the Netherlands that wanted pitchers, and we found them both actually separately. And next thing you know, they're both going to the same country, very very different teams. How far how far away from you are each are you guys? Um, maybe f uh, t a half hour-ish, yeah. around a half hour. To Thorpe to Maslaus by train, at least. So, Emily, you're in uh, Rotterdam, correct? Yeah, I'm living in Maslaus, which is about 20 minutes outside of Rotterdam. Okay, and uh, Melissa, where are you living? I'm in Hofdorp, and it's about 25 minutes out of Amsterdam. So you're kind of like Rotterdam, Amsterdam. Yeah. So are they convincing you, Melissa, to be a Ajax fan and and Emily to be a Feyenoord fan? Have they convinced you that <laughs> of yet? <laughs> not not quite yet. So no, you're not into that yet? No. No. Because at one point, there's like the Yankees and Red Sox there. They're, they're, they don't <laughs> like each other. So you're in two parts of the country that is vicious oh, okay. when it comes to soccer. <laughs> right. so, so tell us about your softball experience uh, that's going on right now. So it's a lot different than it is in the States. Okay. Um, the practices are a lot different. Um, the girls are a lot different. In the States, you have to stop playing by a certain age. Um, and here you don't. So there's uh, women on my team that are a little bit older. Some of them have kids that are closer to my age than I am <laughs> to their age. So it's pretty cool. Um, um, it's a really good learning experience uh, to learn from coaches uh, from around the world. Like I have a coach from New Zealand and then another coach, she's from Belgium. So, and then uh, one of the most known names in softball, Andre Prince, I've gotten to know him well. And it's just, a, I love learning from all these people. So I absorb more than uh, I know already. So I've yeah. absorbed it everything and loving it so really interesting on that note Andre is probably one of is probably known to be one of the best coaches that's been in the game in the yeah. world so what you're learning from is a, an icon in the world of softball which is pretty cool yeah. so um you have to you have to bump in and tell him he owes me money for saying that about him oh. so okay so now you're on break July is break month for softball right everyone stops and goes on holidays somewhere where are you guys Right now, we're in southern France. And what in the world are you doing there? <laughs> I actually have family here, uh, distant cousins. So we're visiting them, and I'm getting to know them. It's very fun. So you knocked on their door and said, <laughs> I belong to you. Is that what happened? <laughs> um, no, actually, some of my family members from back home have been in contact with them. And they gave me the contact information for the cousins here. And I have been talking to them for a few weeks. And I let them know where I was and that I wanted to see if it was okay if I could stop here and get to know them. And so, they said yes. So are you like Cousin Eddie that you stopped in and say, we're, <laughs> we're going to be gone by December? Huh. No. <laughs> uh, we just said it would be for a few days. And I mean, they're treating a, I mean yeah. it's very very nice and learning a lot of family history so it's very cool <laughs> so and Emily you're on for the ride here <laughs> yeah um we actually are I'm I visit family here too I have a cousin in Belgium who we just we were at his house for a few days um so we're seeing a lot of family while we travel around Europe yes. and did you know this cousin in Belgium before uh, no, I actually just found out about him be right before I came to Europe, and um, I had texted him, and we got to know each other via text, and my uh, family told me that I should get to know him, so yeah. <laughs> so where where are you going off from here? Where, where are you headed? Switzerland, yeah, to see the Alps. Oh, that'll be good, because it, yeah. the Alps go from Geneva all the way to Zurich, all the way into Austria, so... <laughs> You doing this by train or bus or what are you doing? Bus. bus. You're doing it by bus. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, bus. you've got to tell us this experience because I've heard of stories like this, but you're not going to do the bicycle thing though. No. no. 
No. So is this bicycle thing in the Netherlands, have you gotten onto that at all yet? Oh, yes. Yeah, we biked a lot. <laughs> first day, actually, whenever I arrived, um, I went to practice that day. Um, and after practice, uh, I was given a bike and they said, this is your bike. <laughs> And that's how I got home. And that was my first day. So since day one, I've been riding a bike to and from practice um, and basically everywhere. <laughs> so Emily, what about you? You the same or? Um, well, I play on two different teams, one in Rotterdam and then one in Maslaus where I live. And I bike to the one in Maslaus since it's only a 10 minute bike ride, but it's down a nice little canal. It's a very beautiful bike ride. Um, but in Maslaus to Rotterdam, we usually drive. So tell me, what is about this biking thing? Um, is it interesting for you to bring that kind of back home? Is that interesting at all to you? Um, yeah. Maybe, yeah. A little bit. I'm just really excited to drive when I come back home again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot different. But, I mean, it's also very relaxing to be able to ride yeah. your bike everywhere. So. so tell me, what is the uh, difference? Th talk about people and the people that you've met in the Netherlands. What's the difference that you see from them as opposed to what we see in America? Um, let's see. Um, I have found that they are very accommodating, very nice. They help me out whenever I need anything. Um, they always make sure that I have everything I need. Um, well, it's a, they eat a lot of dairy, I found out, <laughs> a lot of cheese and yogurt, which I made that my diet, basically. Uh, they drink a lot of coffee. Coffee, yeah. Yep. Lots and lots of coffee. So are you, are you coffee drinkers? Yes. Yep. So it kind of fit, okay, so you're not picking up the smoking habits though, right? No. Uh, no. <laughs> not yet? No. <laughs> Actually, it's a little lesser of a Dutch thing. It's a little bit more of a French thing. So, uh, but anyhow, so you're going to Switzerland. When are you back into kind of like home in the Netherlands? Uh, First week of August. Yeah. And so right now you are exploring. Are your parents ever going to come over and see you guys at all? Or Not sure about yeah. mine yet. <laughs> I don't think so. So they've totally abandoned you. They're glad that you're on <laughs> your own. They're having parties back home, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Or something like that. So what's today bring for you? Well, it's raining here right now, so not much. <laughs> yeah, we uh, went and met some more of the family today. Uh, they, Most of them all live in the village, this very small village, um, on the same street. Well. So we walked down um, a few a few houses today and met with some more. And uh, none of no one speaks in any <laughs> English. They all speak French. So um, we have, uh, I have one cousin who he, visits um, Manchester, New York a lot. So uh -huh. he, uh, he kind of speaks in English. So he was helping us translate. So when you have to go to the bathroom, you kind of know the sign that where's the toilet and you know <laughs> that kind of stuff or I'm really hungry. So yeah, we you, use yeah. a lot of hand motions to communicate. Right. <laughs> but you're getting by, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you've been in the environment of the Dutch language, but you don't hear it very much, I guess, because they speak English well, right? Yeah, uh, but we pick up on stuff. Yeah, I mean, they mainly speak Dutch around us. I mean, I, I sometimes they speak English to me. Yeah. The coaches sometimes forget, so they, <laughs> they speak all Dutch and then but, pull me aside after and tell me what they said. <laughs> but, what's really funny, because when they're speaking Dutch around you, they're talking about you. You do know that, oh, right? right? Okay. Yeah, you can kind of tell what they're saying. You just yeah. don't know exactly what it is. <laughs> but mostly, I'll, I'll just tell you, it's probably good. So, yeah. so anyhow, you, you're loving this experience. Oh, definitely. For sure. You haven't fallen in love with the Dutch guy or French guy yet, right? <laughs> That's the Swiss guy. That's coming up, right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, so you just have to see what you find on the bus, I guess, right? <laughs> that long bus ride. <laughs> Well, I'm going to gather some information when you guys get back. When you get back, I'm going to do this okay. all over again. But uh, there's a whole lot of people that's wondering, what are they doing? Where are they going? And or, <laughs> have, you, have they been lost? Are they in a movie now? Or exactly, exactly <laughs> what's kind of like taken, what would be taken number four? Oh, no. oh, you went to Paris. Tell us about Paris. Oh, it was amazing. So gorgeous architecture. We saw Notre Dame and the Eiffel Tower. Eight pastries had a lot of delicious food there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so would you go back again? Yeah. For sure. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hint there. That's a great honeymoon spot. <laughs> so you have to put that in your list of when you, when someone does drop to their knees and say, yes, <laughs> there's got to be a criteria. We're going back 
to Paris. Okay. Right. Don't don't ever say Gatlinburg, Tennessee is a place you're oh, going to go no. for honeymoon. So. No. All right, girls, I'm going to let you go. Thanks a bunch. I'm going to post this up. And uh, there's a whole lot of people that's looking forward to hearing from you. And actually, we know you're alive now. So that's a good thing. <laughs> you are not being coerced into this. That's a good thing, too. But I did kind of coerce you. But uh, anyhow, that's okay. Hey, good having you guys. Thanks a bunch. Thank Thanks. you. Bye, Kurt. Bye-bye. Bye.